Hello and welcome to Takes a Village Cleaning. With this job, I was asked to help get this nursery back in order. Unfortunately, this mom suffered a brain injury, which makes basic thought processes way more difficult than they need to be. And I totally understand that this mom is at a loss of what to do next. I am always so thankful when people reach out for help because I know that step in itself is really hard for a lot of people to have someone from the outside come into their home, expose themselves essentially, and I just, I'm so thankful that I, people trust me and that I'm able to do this. So let's dive right in. I start with my pile system. We've got kids' toys, we've got miscellaneous items, I made a pile of clothing, kids clothing as well as adult clothing because the closet is shared with the mom. I move out any large objects that are going to kind of get in the way of what I'm doing. That chair was very heavy. I then empty any drawers and begin kind of pulling everything I can out of the corners of the room so that I can see everything that I need to deal with. Once I have my piles established, I started folding clothes, separating the blankets and that sort of thing so I can see where I can put them. I ended up with a few empty totes I put aside just in case I could use them later on. And this basket I'm filling up with things that shouldn't really be in this room, so we'll figure out a place for them after. So there's the baby clothes, the adult clothes, some more clothes I got to hang up and fold and put away, but we're making progress. Putting all the baby clothes on hangers was probably the most tedious task, which is why I don't personally hang my baby clothes. It just gets shoved in the drawer, sometimes folded, sometimes not. So in the top drawer, I decided to put the baby pants and shorts and pajama sets. And after some thought, I realized there's more pants than what I thought. So pajama sets went into the basket on the top of the dresser, which I think are easier access for when it's bedtime. And then I left this drawer solely for pants, shorts, and bathing suits. The one thing about organizing is things constantly get rearranged until it works. So I always kind of try things out, think about it, and then change it if it doesn't seem to work. So for now, I'm putting these baskets here, but I believe I do change it up later. I then moved on to the mother's wardrobe, which I ended up rolling her pants because it just seems to fit better on a shelf that way. I then decided to keep blankets up top in the closet here for easy access and rolled up all of the baby blankets into this little milk crate. I didn't like that sticker showing, it looked a little messy, so we spun it around. There was a decent amount of sleep sacks, so I put what I could in this milk crate and any smaller, lighter ones I put on the shelf because that's sort of what season we're in. Once clothing was dealt with, I moved on to toys. I like to put puzzle pieces into baskets, taken apart rather than put together. It's just more inviting for a kid to play with them. Any of the son's toys I was asked to bring back to his room, but yes, girls can play with trucks too, but these are his. The drawer I emptied earlier I feel would be better suited for baby toiletries because this is where she'll sit with the baby. Meanwhile, this dresser drawer was broken, so I put things that she will be grabbing less often, so the extra stock items. So when I'm trying to find places for things in a room, that's something to always consider is how frequently do you need that item? Does it need to be at the forefront of your storage or tucked away? That sort of thing. And then this is always the trickiest part of my cleans when you get down to the nitty gritty of random objects that don't belong. So typically I try and find their place, whether it's things that should be in the bathroom or um, things that should go in the kitchen. The rest I put in a tote usually for the owner to decide.
Now I was gonna edit this part out or crop it or speed it up, but it was so hard to move this chair and it took me forever and I was just sweating bullets by the end of it, but let's just include it all anyways. <laughs> and then at the end I was like, yes! <laughs> that was it look at this big spacious beautiful bedroom for this baby girl and mom i am so excited for them it must be such a relief to be able to walk in here place her on the floor let her play safely and have all this lovely space i just love doing kids rooms the most out of all my cleanings and in the end i'm left with some trash some recycling and empty totes, a box of mixed things, so that's what the owner needs to sort through and I will help her. I put a drawer of toiletries and baby related stuff, her um, baby wearer thing, I can't think of the name, carrier is in that drawer. Some stock in there, cleared off the tabletop, all the toys are organized, I put pajamas and bathing suits up at the top here. This drawer is full of all the pants and leggings and shorts at the back. The second drawer I left to leave overstock for the diaper genie and cloth diapers. And then the bottom, extra wipes, extra diapers, that sort of thing, because the drawer is pretty stiff and broken. This little basket here is extras because I ran out of hangers. And then down over here, I kind of work from the top down. So I've got hats in this drawer and headbands. And then I've got diaper covers and then socks at the bottom. And then the mother's clothing is all folded and organized as well. What a difference. Thank you for tuning in.